Hey everyone, it's Graphic back with another video, and today we're going to be doing a little video kind of regarding our AMA we posted on Reddit yesterday. So I have over 60 hours in the Brighter Shores closed beta, ask me anything. So I'm going to try to answer everything I possibly can that doesn't go you know, too in detail, because obviously we can't give you guys too much new information, that's for sure. So let's go into a couple of the details that uh, I think you guys will enjoy. So the first question was, did it make you happy? Well, I loved episode one. However, I always ruin my own experience by trying to rush into later parts of the game. With wanting to get to the end game content, I know that isn't really even there yet. Due to it being an early access game with many features not in the game yet, why am I rushing to episode four? Either way, I went up and down like five times throughout my time playing this game. I couldn't quite figure it out if I really liked it or if it wasn't for me. However, every morning I woke up, I couldn't wait to get back to the game. I must really like it. Well, maybe. I don't really know, actually, my full total thoughts on this, but I will say either way, about a 7.5 out of 10 with new features and content, this game could compete with RuneScape, and uh, I really do believe that. I think there's a lot of features and content that could make this game really, really good. The next question we have was, uh, would you say that RuneScape is still a proper comparison to this? And I will say that this game is so much different than RuneScape. However, I'm not really sure that there is a game that is more similar in comparison, so I think it almost has to be compared to RuneScape. Um, and is different in a good way, improved way, or different as intentionally designed to want to be different. And it feels like maybe a little bit of both. I've seen, you know, methods in the game that, or, you know, functions in the game that feel like they're trying to be different and it's okay, or it's good even. Uh, but I also feel the other way just occasionally as well. It's not a big deal either way though. Next we have, uh, what was your honest impression of those 60 hours? So it's a unique game that doesn't try to be anything else. You can tell this game was made by people who would like their game to be successful, but are more so making a game out of passion for this style. So I enjoyed a majority of my game time. However, there are features and content, like I said, that would make this game live for a very long time. Until then, I think it won't be for everyone, but the people that do stick around will make and create a such a strong, dedicated fan base. Do you regret choosing your starting class? Which did you choose? So I actually chose Hammer Mage in the game, and I'm happy with my decision. Not sure there is a bad choice, really, but I prefer two of them over the uh, one of the factions, and I'm not going to say what faction, just because um, of a certain aspect in the game. It's really not a big deal, probably, but I prefer two of the three, and I'm happy I chose my Hammer Mage. Um, so how long did it take you to get to the point where you can choose a class? Not sure. I could really say, but somewhere close to the front middle, I guess. So I don't want to give an exact answer. I don't want to spoil too many things. Uh, again, an embargo. So next up we have, how did you get closed beta access? Does it feel like a recreation of something old or does it feel like they've created a game that's new and unique? Old and new together, you kind of forget it's the old the more you play it though. So it does feel like an old game. It feels like a new game at the same time. However, once you're playing it, you know, for 60 hours plus, you kind of forget that feeling of an old game. It feels like it's a new game again. Um, so I, I really think overall it feels more new than old. Do you feel, so this is a long one, this has a bunch of different questions and a bunch of different answers, so we'll go from the top. Do you feel the magic of starting the game new is there? So I logged in and I overly judged the game for, you know, every single little thing because I really wanted to have an idea early if I liked it or not. After relaxing for a bit and just exploring and trying some of the early professions, I mostly enjoyed myself. Did you have access to all four episodes? Uh, yeah, I just made it to episode four last night, so I was able to do all of those professions for the first time yesterday and explore the entire new episode. I can't really talk about stuff in game, so I can't really talk if there are boss fights or are not boss fights. Does the game ever hit just a grinding point or does it usually feel good every hour you put in so far? So kind of a mix between. There's definitely a grinding spot that hits on a certain level. It begins to take a lot longer to level up. Um, but I think this is good. It's good as intended. And I think that the uh, every hour you put in, you are going to make progress, whether it's a lot or a little. You're going to make some progress and it's going to feel good because obviously the harder it is to level up, each level feels even better because of the amount of time it took to get that level. So it kind of a little bit of in between there on that one. Do you mind the room by room design? Yeah, I don't mind it at all. It's actually not near as bad as people are saying. Um, so I yeah, I don't mind it at all. I'd rather not have a room by room design, but again, not a big deal. Does quests give quest markers on where to go or what to do? Can't really answer that. Uh, is there a lot of gear, weapon variety, which changes combat gameplay? Again, can't really answer that too much, but it is a little weaker, in my opinion, combat and uh, quest markers. Again, remember that, like I said earlier, features are not all there in this early access. You're not going to see a ton of just unique features that are going to be really, really beneficial to your gameplay. Um, I do expect some more to come, though. 
Thanks for playing in the early stages when the game is still taking shape so we can better enjoy experience. Did you have fun? The biggest thing is, yes, I had fun. The game was fun. So that's something that a lot of people will keep asking. Is the game fun? Yes, I had fun. Um, again, not for everyone. How in-depth is character customization out of 10? And I just said it's similar to other games like RuneScape. Although, once I got in the early access, I was too excited and I didn't take enough time to confirm that. So I just ran straight through that character customization because I wanted to jump in the game so quickly. So I think it's pretty basic, but uh, I don't have all the details on that either. No spoilers, obviously, but I'm really interested to know how you found them. One of the best parts about RuneScape were the quests. And I'm really hoping Brighter Shores is similar. Questing without a guide wasn't as hard as I thought it would be, kind of more fun but yet challenging experience. I have never really tried games similar without a guide, so it's very, very useful to uh, you know know that these are quests that make sense. However, they're funny the entire time, it seems like, and they actually have use behind them. So uh, a lot of them are pretty good quests, and I say that's probably one of the better parts of the game right now. Is this game as fun as RuneScape or World of Warcraft when you started playing? Um, well, OSRS for me was pretty much unmatched. I was younger with no responsibilities and had no idea what I was doing. Now I'm in max and look at the most efficient methods with a calculator. So not sure it's the game that made OSRS more fun or the place in my life I was at. So Brighter Shores is fun, but it, again, can't compare to when I was a younger age playing OSRS, just completely confused and amused by uh, the massive world that OSRS was. So it's a great game, but uh, again, don't know if I can really compare. Am I going to spend way too much time in this game and ignore real life? Well, 50-50. Is the world as limiting as it looks? Again, the room system is not really that limiting. Maybe a few times at most you're like, ah, oh, that's kind of annoying, I can't do this or that. It doesn't happen often. It came up in my mind, crossed my mind maybe three or four times throughout the entirety of the game once I got used to it. So that's not really a limiting factor for sure. Is the game good? Does it have lasting appeal? Does the game have a bright future? Pun intended. So the game is good. It definitely could have a lasting appeal. Excited to see what is to come. I hope they spend more time on adding more features and content on existing before expanding and adding more of the same. They have a great base game. Is there some sort of daily or weekly already implemented? Was there some sort of player housing? And is it a good dopamine hit? So again, low on features as it's an early access game. Can't confirm or deny really any of the stuff he says here. Um, but yeah, it's obviously you're leveling up. It's a good dopamine hit every time you hit a level. And especially, like I said, after that certain point where the leveling becomes a little harder. What would you have done differently had you had all the information you have now? Well, if I wasn't a content creator and trying to get all the best guides for everyone on everything right away, I would have slowed down my rush to episode four, probably learning more along the way as well. One thing I definitely did like and you know, I was happy I was doing is I explored every room possible of and available to me before jumping into these new episodes. If episode two was just unlocked, I would walk around discovering everything in episode two before starting back on the quest or leveling more. How does the pacing feel overall as far as paying attention to the game versus AFK? Is there a lot of slow tasks you click infrequently on or faster tasks you go all over a room for? Is it a bit of both? Think OSRS woodcutting. Click the screen every 30 seconds. That's a slow task. So I would say it's more active um, than passive, but I, there's a little bit of both. What's the combat like? I'm not hearing good things about it so far. Is it turn-based like OSRS? It's like OSRS. However, we saw that there's attack speed in videos that are available to us already. So I would say that it's not OSRS, but it is like OSRS. Not really sure how to answer that one. So I believe that's all the questions I actually answered in the Reddit AMA. If you have any questions I did not answer or questions you want answered, ask them down in the comment section. Remember, I can't really answer specific questions. I can't go into details, but uh, you can ask away and see what happens. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Uh, again, we have so many guides coming out on Brighter Shores in the next couple of days when November 6th does hit. So make sure to like the video, subscribe to this channel for sure so you can get those guides, tips, and tricks because a lot of these are very, very important and will help you out tremendously. So again, like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. Thank you guys again for tuning in. Appreciate you guys all, and I'll see you all in the next one.